And with us live is America's accountant, Dan Geltrude, managing director of Geltrude and Company. Dan, great to see you as always. It must be extra important for anyone who did a paper filed return to keep copies of their supporting documents now, right? Uh, no question about it. Look, the IRS is supposed to maintain copies of this information as support for what you filed on your tax return. Now, of course, it's much easier for that to happen when everything is done electronically. When you have paper filing, uh, that becomes more challenging in terms of how do you store all this information? And, and the IRS, by its own admission, is saying, hey, look, we have some significant technology challenges, so you know what? We have to get rid of all this paper. What do you think? you think do away with paper filings altogether, Dan? Yeah, I think over time, as technology does advance, even for the IRS, we are going to get to a point where everything is going to be electronically filed. There's no other way to do it. And the fact that the IRS is, still has that type of system in place, it's really a scary thought. What's taking them so long to modernize this? Well, the IRS has really gone through some significant challenges related to funding. They have a lot fewer employees and they haven't done anything with their technology to get up to speed. On top of that, during the pandemic, the IRS was the one charged with handling all of the checks that had to go out, whether it was PPP or individual checks to people. So they literally just didn't have enough people and they were working remotely, which they were not prepared to do. The Biden administration did plan to give them more money. Was that going to the right areas? Well, you know what happened there? There was a lot of pushback because anytime you're talking about giving the IRS more money, well, voters look at that and say, well, we're not so keen on the IRS having more money and more resources to take our dollars. But the fact of the matter is, is that they can't do their job. And that's problematic for everyone. Why? Because they can't ensure that everyone is paying what they're supposed to pay. When that happens, it really does hurt all of us. So uh, the Biden administration was not able to get that funding through so far. We're told about backlogs all the time. Are you saying we should expect them for the foreseeable future? Well, let's hope not now that we're coming out of the pandemic that ultimately the IRS is going to be able to catch up at least to a reasonable level. However, I think the the fallout from the pandemic, meaning how fall how far they've fallen behind, well, it's going to take some time to be able to catch up and again, they need funding to put new technology in place. I think finally, Dan, on this specific issue with destroying the documents, anything else Americans should know before we let you go? Well, look, I think, as, as we pointed out when we first started, is that it is your responsibility as a taxpayer to maintain your documents. Because even if the IRS doesn't have the documents, they turn around and say to you, you need to provide those documents to us. It is your obligation to be able to do so. So the burden of proof is on the taxpayer, not on the IRS. That's a great reminder. America's accountant, Dan Geltrude. Really appreciate it, Dan. Take care. Thank you, Paul.